Hi folks, nice from HighlandAndroid.com where we get yeah. on Android every day. Anyway, the other day I was installing some ROMs on my Galaxy S3 and lost my IMEI. Uh, basically, sometimes that happens when you flash ROMs. The easiest way to uh, recover from that is just use Odin and stock firmware uh, for the Samsung Galaxy series phones. Anyway, I've got it. I did that and I got my IMEI back. And while I was at it, I upgraded to 4.3. Uh, and uh, since some of the instructions, the reading instructions on my Galaxy S3 is, there's too many of them. And, uh, you know, I I wanted to kind of consolidate and make one root method for all the Galaxy S3s, uh, which is pretty much the same uh, for the latest Android 4.3 and 4.4.2, and even the older ICS uh, 4.0.3 uh, and Jelly Bean. So let me go ahead and show you how to root the Galaxy S3, all the Galaxy S3s except for the Verizon also, this can show you how to root the Galaxy Mini also. So let's go do this, baby. <sighs> Hi, folks. So this will work on any Galaxy S3, uh, including AT&T T-Mobile Sprint, uh, everything except for Verizon. Also, GTI 9300, which I've got here, GTI 9305, also Galaxy S3 Mini. Um, the root method is exa exactly the same, and I'm updating this because uh, uh, with the latest Android 4.3 and 4.4.2, you'll need to use the latest Clockma Recovery and also the latest Super SU. Uh, so let's go ahead and root it. Go ahead and power off your Galaxy S3. And then what you're going to do is hold down volume down, center home, and the power button, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and down, hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. Go ahead and hold them down together until you see this warning sign. Let go of all the buttons. Hit uh, volume up. Next, you're going to go ahead and connect it to um, your micro USB cable to your computer. So let's go ahead and connect it. And let's go to your computer. All right, next, go ahead and go to my site, galaxyS3root.com. Go to this page called uh, CWM Twerp Recovery at the top, one of the menus. If you click there, you'll get uh, CWM Twerp Recovery page here. And go ahead and download the Clockma recovery appropriate for your Galaxy S3. I've got everything for AT&T T-Mobile Sprint, uh, Cricket, US Cellular. Now there's uh, the the main link, which is an IMG file, but you need the tar file. So I'm going to go ahead and download the GTI 9300 since that's what I'm using right now to root. Go ahead and download the tar file here. All right. Um, to download this file, very simple. Just wait five seconds here, or you can sign up for a free account also. Uh, wait five seconds and just simply enter the CAPTCHA penny loafer and hit download and this will download uh, the file here should take about 10 seconds here all right next also you'll need to download uh, Odin v185 I'll have all the links for all of this um, go ahead and download Odin v185.zip go ahead and double click and unzip it all right double click and extract all files and you'll get a file a folder called Odin v185 most likely all right ah, where is it sorry here we go Odin v185 okay um, next what you want to do is uh, go ahead and double click on Odin v185 hit OK and you should see this yellow com highlighted sign if you don't see this you don't have Samsung drivers installed um, go ahead and download the drivers uh, and run the exe file, the Samsung drivers, and then rerun Odin, uh, and you should see this yellow com highlighted sign. Once you have this uh, set, you're good to go. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, hit PDA here, and then go to your download folder, and go ahead and find the file, the, the CWM uh, tar file you downloaded. For me, that's going to be the CWM S3 i9300 recovery.tar the file I just downloaded earlier. Hit open. Go ahead and hit start. All right, and this will install a custom recovery on your phone. And go ahead and let your phone reboot, all right? And uh, I'll be back when it reboots. All right, next, once your phone has rebooted, leave it connected to your computer. Next, go ahead and download uh, the SuperSU update superSUv 2.0.zip. Do a copy here, and then go ahead and copy and paste into uh, your Galaxy S3, anywhere there. All right, paste it. All right, now this file is on our phone. Uh, let me go ahead and switch the camera angle real quick. 
All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and power off our phone now. Um, you don't need to have it connected to your computer anymore. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and hold down, uh, once it's powered off, volume up this time and center home, and then the power button. All right, hold all three out at the same time. When you see the logo there, let go of the power button. Keep holding down volume up and the center home. And then you'll get to this screen. Uh, this is the clock from our recovery we just installed. All right, if you don't see this for some reason, uh, sometimes what happens is that uh, when you reboot your phone, um, the uh, system overwrites the custom recovery. That could happen. If that happens to you, rerun Odin again. And as soon as you see pass, uh, pull the battery, put it back in, and do the buttons I just did like this, and you should be able to get into Clockmart Recovery. All right, once you're here, go ahead and choose Install from Zip. Choose Zip from SD Card. And then go ahead and choose Zero. Uh, and inside here, you should be able to find the file you copied over earlier. Uh, here, go ahead and find the update super su uh, the blah blah dot zip. All right, go ahead and say yes. And this will actually install root and uh, super su, uh, which will give you full root. Go ahead and go back to main menu, reboot system now. And if it asks you to fix root, say no, uh, because the clock model recovery is wrong. And once you reboot it, you should find your Galaxy S3 fully rooted. All right, once rebooted, um, go ahead and open your phone. Um, go to your app drawer. Uh, you should have Super SU. Go ahead and open it. All right. And if you don't get any errors, uh, it's good. If it asks you to disable Knox, sometimes it does. Um, go ahead and say yes and disable Knox. If it freezes, go ahead and reboot and try again until it disables Knox. Uh, next, go ahead and download an app uh, like Titanium Backup app. Uh, which will uh, allow you to verify that you have full root. All right, go ahead and download that app and open it. Hold on a second. There we go. And you should see super user request window. Boom shakalaka. There you go, hit grant, and you have a fully rooted Galaxy S3. And that's how you root Galaxy S3, uh, probably the easiest method. And thanks guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you root your Galaxy S3, um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and as always, stay on Android.